Hey everyone, welcome to podcast number 39. Uh, my favorite comment from last week is from Juan Romero. Chris complains about Niall getting a pug because they are deformed and why pay for it? But he literally had a fucked up back and his parents stuck with him. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> oh, that's actually uh, savage. That's great. Um, I did. I couldn't pick a comment. Pretty much any comment that was just referencing now being the better looking version of Drew, it just killed me. There was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot. Yeah, my favorite was goddamn Drew got to glow up this episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was a lot. But... So basically, this week again we have Nile on, um, because Drew and Rob are both gone. Rob probably has COVID. Drew's I, so too what do we? Scared. So what do we actually think? So I truly, he does not have COVID. What's your thought? I was telling Christian. I think the Vikings just lost. So so that's down. that's. I thought that, but then he like it was immediately in the morning. Yeah, and he yeah, had yeah. it bef- like the night it was before. Before the Vikings mm-hmm. lost. Yeah. I think it's like the flu because Rob used to be like six twenty four seven, and I think he's had a pretty good run. So the flu is like gotcha, bitch. Yeah, and I I think it's either just a flu or maybe just like a bug because he said he felt fine the next day. Yeah, he yeah. should still get tested. Yeah, but which I think he is. Yeah, yeah hopefully. sounds like he's going tomorrow. Yeah, I think he's fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Drew's just concerned he doesn't want to get COVID, so Drew's a little he's bitch not ass. Down. I understand it. Like realistically, he shouldn't. We're fine because we were all. In the same bubble last well, week. So yeah, I was gonna Rob say the anyway. thing is, is if Rob has it, we all have it yeah, anyway. So, like, so. It doesn't change us at all. I don't know what the actual odds are. When we were talking, we're like, "What do you think? Like, what are the chances that all of us say Rob got it and he started showing symptoms?" Still, and it's been still pretty slim, probably. But it's been seven days, and it, you show symptoms between two and fourteen. What are just the chances that say all three of us like don't show symptoms till like day twelve? And all the people that we oh con- come in contact with. They should have symptoms by now. Correct. Or at least one person would have symptoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I I think we're fine. Yeah, I'm really not worried. Me either. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. (laughs) That's why we climbed, what, three hours ago? Yesterday, I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. fine. I've already already seen you guys anyway. (laughs) Yeah, we were talking about it, and we're like, realistically... You were there with us, so like he's already I'm got stuck it. In it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm in here now. Rita oh, just boy. messages you. Don't come home. <laughs> Don't come home. She's got a live feed of the podcast right now. She's like, what? Yeah, but uh, you're sleeping outside. <laughs> all in all, hopefully it's fine. Yeah, he should be. I think he's just more anxious about getting the results than actually yeah, yeah. doing it. But mm-hmm. hopefully he'll be fine, and then next week. Everything should be back. We'll have now back on as guests every now and then whenever we have spots because unfortunately this table does not fit five. Whenever someone else gets COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Our next COVID scare. It's so shitty though because we're actually like we're diving into flu season. Yeah, so like true. what? So like you, you can't really tell the difference that much. Like mm-hmm. if, you, if you just get sick, any sickness, you, you might as well just go get tested. And on top of that, we now have kids going back to school. Mm-hmm. Everyone. Yeah, all Rob's kids. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like now more out and about because everything is like lessened. Our cases have basically tripled or quadrupled, which isn't like a lot. Yeah. It went from like four to 16. Doug so. Ford came out. When, did you guys see his thing today or yesterday? No. There was like 300 cases in Ontario today. Yeah. He pretty much came out and said, he's like, as a heads up, we're starting, we're going to start locking certain regions back down. I mm-hmm. think he said, I can't remember who, Ottawa, a couple in Toronto, a couple yeah. regions. Yeah. Today we had the most cases in Ontario since June or something. Yeah. Jeez. But it's kind of, so fucked, he came out and was still like, not like, a crazy amount he's like if we don't turn this around again we're gonna just revert certain regions back to like phase what two what are we in now three yeah i think three apparently there's a phase four i don't know if we were talking about that last week or if that was what? my friends is there yeah there's apparently like a phase four is and that just five. freedom i don't know what that is <laughs> so like three is like you have to have masks and everything is like open but limited gotcha. uh capacity so i would imagine phase four is probably like increase the capacity phase five is everything's back to normal yeah I wouldn't actually mind. I was thinking about this the other day. If we had to wear masks forever, like maybe not inside buildings. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Actually, I don't mind it at all. If I really think about it, I feel like if anything, it would be inside buildings. Though. Yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. Sorry, <laughs> like inside right buildings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, only when you're outside you have to wear. A yeah, mask. but you know what I mean. I actually yeah. don't think I mind it. It's something that a lot of people have talked about as well. I, I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter. People are just like, I love masks. I never want to go back to. Mm-hmm. I don't mind uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like even just think of like say flu season. How much like better it should be now that everybody has a mask on? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think it should work out. It should be good. Mm-hmm. But 
I think it's it would be like probably better overall, but definitely something that I wouldn't mind if they were just like, yeah, you get to choose. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! If I don't have to wear a mask, I don't think I'm gonna wear a mask. Yeah. But I mean, I still yeah. see people like all the time not wearing them uh-huh. inside stores, and technically we're like not allowed to can't say shit. Ask them mm-hmm. like if they have some sort of health condition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't have to like prove anything to you. So. And you have people at like Shane's store who like suplex the old granny for not wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, no, no one says no one says anything. It's like it's very chill. Hmm. Can't you say shit. RKO'd. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as she leaves the store. <laughs> uh, uh, Poor yeah. old people. Uh, I wouldn't mind masks, but I definitely hope that like at least our region hopefully gets a bit smarter and the cases go back down because I do not want it to go back to... Is our region actually spiking? I haven't... Yeah. We had 20 cases so, yeah. the other day when normally we're averaging one or two. It's really just the schools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was like, as soon as school started, all of a sudden the cases there spiked There was like up. a 100-person party at like one of the universities <laughs> here in town the other day. Jesus. The police I had about to like that. go and break it up. The fines are... Is it, what are you, you get fined like a thousand bucks here. They got fined like four grand or something <laughs> between like three people. That's fucked. Yeah. It'll be pr- who, whoever's like living there, whoever's renting yeah, the place. Yeah, it was the people renting it. God, Honestly, man. they should just do it for everyone there, whoever they catch. People who attended, yeah. Like they're just mm-hmm. as fucking stupid anyway. But like obviously, I'm sure they can't <laughs> stop everyone and be like, oh, get back here. I'm just going to yeah. bail. They're probably just like running. <laughs> 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 Takes off. Yeah. I don't know. The one thing I really hope is like the, I get it, the travel restriction, mm-hmm. but like, fuck, man. Like, just let me prove that I don't have COVID when I come back. Don't make me sit here two weeks. At least we have, like, with Canada, we can go, like you said, to the West Coast. You were talking about that before the podcast. Yeah. Like, we can go there. It's not beaches or whatever, but it's nice. If I had to choose between what we were talking about, we're talking about going to, like, I don't know, snowboarding and skiing out West. I, I'm still, I'd rather go to Florida. Yeah. But, well, but then again, yeah. maybe not right, right now. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I'd rather go somewhere warm. But Yeah, you know, 100%. This year, just thinking of changing it up. I'd be mm. down for a West Coast trip. Annie would. I was plan. I was planning on going like out west this oh, really? summer, and then all this shit happened. Mm. Mm-hmm. We mm. can do a w- yeah. winter. It, it'd just be kind of shitty because unless we're gonna go somewhere that's like really popular touristy area, it's gonna be like kind of just shitty weather and shitty See, environment. I don't mind that if you have the right company. Like yeah. when we went down to to Midland for that like three days, me and Amanda, mm-hmm. the first day was like beautiful. So we went to a Sega beach and then the next day just like rained. Um, so we literally just went to like the, the national park that's like right there, 20 minutes away and just walked paths for like two hours. Yeah, like, like there's I, something about it, man. It's so nice. Mm-hmm. I'm so down to just go to like any of the parks. Out and just like hike. Look beautiful. Yeah. Would you want to drive or fly? See, I would love to drive. I've always but wanted to do like a road trip like that, but then I know like I'd get halfway there and I'd be like, fuck driving. So, no, so I think it would be awesome. But the big issue is, is that um, we kill what, four days to get, just drive out there. We'd it's have to have two weeks. Drive. If yeah. we, like, let's just say we're going to Banff. Yeah. It would be. Four days. That's my guess. Niall, give me a guess. I'm going to say like three and a half. Fuck. Cause like. You win. Straight. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We just do three shifts, 24 yeah, hours. I don't, know. I don't know like what. <laughs> The highways would be like in like Saskatchewan. If you were to do it completely straight, oh, but you have to go through. Like, can you go just like right across? The issue that it keeps keeps telling you to go through the states, and there's no other options to like stay in the country. No, no, there is. No, 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 there (laughs) is. No, like on the on the maps. Yeah, I was gonna say because you can (laughs) go up and around, but keep in mind, just to get out of Ontario, you're talking a day from where we are. If you go straight. With like no stopping, the fastest is one day nine hours. But that's cutting through what? five yeah. or six different U.S. states. You're just making a straight line. Yeah, that's but not again, happening. keep in mind we have to. <laughs> so yeah, we have to like go. It takes us a fucking day to get out of Ontario. <laughs> Do you go to like Thunder Bay or what? I think like, so, because you you just have to wrap around. Huh. Um, what is it, Georgian Bay? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it would Let's be. See. We could take the Chichiman and cut like uh, to Manitoulin Island to go from here to (laughs) 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 to go from here to Thunder Bay it would be 15 and a half hours oh Oh, Jesus Thunder Bay you're not out of Ontario yet and then I'm gonna check from Thunder Bay to Banff then it's another 23 hours Oh, that's not even that crazy. So, so it, it takes a day to get out of Ontario that's way less than I thought like okay no that's in the region of doable yeah I'd still, like, I'd still rather fly. I'd still rather fly. So here's the thing. So that drive like up through Ontario would be sweet because it's like forest. It's actually pretty cool. Bunch of random towns. And then you hit what? Like other side of Winnipeg 
and then all the way to the mountains, there's nothing. You like, like you 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 get passed by a car and you just see that car for like an hour because you can just see so far ahead because it's just flat land. Would would it even really be possible in the winter though? Because like with snow, wouldn't the roads just be fucked? No, because they keep like one like the Trans Canada they have to keep Highway those maintained. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's like one highway. Like that it would just, just never be coast to coast. Well, the thing is, if a car gets fucked up on it, then you're just stuck in a yeah. day's worth of traffic. But mm. we're I just talking... feel like it would be a boring drive through like Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Like mm-hmm. Alberta yes. is probably beautiful. The roads there are probably sick. Why well, again? Alberta's just isn't it just open field? No, there's like mountains and stuff. There's at like least on like this side more yeah. like over here. It's just field, isn't like it? When you it, first enter, you mean from yeah. like the eastern side? Like Saskatchewan it's, it's isn't pretty, yes, isn't yeah. Saskatchewan just one big fucking prairie? It's a fucking like <laughs> plain of land. <laughs> yeah, it's like, literally just one farm. It's just one, one land. person owns It's the literally just farm. completely flat. One piece of flat land. <laughs> yeah. My brother lived there for a bit, and like my nephews <laughs> were telling me about it. They're like, it's like you literally just drive and you can see forever. That's what I mean. That's what I heard. Nothing. It's like again, you get past and you're staring at the same car for an hour as he's like going. He's just flying down the road. Yeah, yeah I, I would still rather fly. I would rather fly, especially because like, if we were to do, let's say, you and Amanda, me and Annie, Niall, Brittany, and like Drew and Bree, eight mm. people, we had to take two cars, drive yeah. all that way. Renting cars when I was looking, it's not, it's not actually that expensive. Yeah, I'd rather fly there and then rent a car With there. The car. Yeah, we could I would rent rather. like a fucking um, not a minibus, bus, but a stretch like uh, <laughs> a stretch. <limo. laughs> what seats? Eight. There's gotta be something that seats eight. Probably like a van, a caravan could seat eight, couldn't it? Three, three. I'm sure there's something yeah. we can yeah. run. Yeah, it would be if you think because we'd all have like you. I could trust us to have a bag. Do I trust like Brittany, Amanda, Bree to have one bag? No. no. I mean, I'd have like three bags. Though. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> any I'd any would be really and good. I'd have my like camera shit. Oh fair, fair. And I would like re- I'd need to take my camera. I can pack like yeah. when I go for a week and a half. I just I pack my one duffel bag. Yeah, yeah I do good. too. <laughs> Annie would be pretty good because she did like a Europe trip with just a backpack, basically. All right, Damn. I trust her. So That's she... impressive. Amanda, not good. We went to again Midland. She had like three bags packed. I don't know what was in two of them, but <laughs> they're there. Um, hmm. but I'd be down for it if it was like a week or something. Mm-hmm. It had to be between seasons. Would... Yeah. I know Annie for a while has been really wanting to go to Lake Louise because that's her favorite place. And that's Alberta. That is, yeah. It's yeah. Alberta. Alberta. It's a, uh, it like, so nice. It's the, one of the most iconic lakes in Can. You know, Canada all those overall. photos of like, just like bluish, like teal water in Alberta. Yeah. That's Lake Louise. With <laughs> mountains surrounding it. Yeah. Interesting. It's okay. a very expensive area. <laughs> I well, think, yeah. probably yeah it looks sick again no i just want to like i know we don't ski snowboard but i think it'd be awesome i'd be down to learn yeah be fun. and see the thing is, is i was talking like i i can ski okay like but we're talking i've skied at like chicopee yeah. um so a little bit different a little bit smaller <laughs> than like <laughs> yeah. an actual mountain <laughs> yeah so we we're i was sure, thinking like, like i'm a double black diamond right yeah we <laughs> should really just try like fucking blue mountain once and then be like, you know That's what? Let's go do this. I've never but, been to Blue Mountain, but dude, it's, either, dude, I would love to go. But like, I was just even looking at houses. If you just want to buy even close to there, they're like quadruple the price. So imagine yeah. renting. It'd probably be like 10000 for a week. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can I'll chip in. <laughs> I'll we'll chip you, in I'll for a week. A bit. I'll chip in like <laughs> me and Amanda, 1000 bucks. Uh, I'm tempted. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd be down to like rent something there. I've yeah. always wanted to rent one of those like fun, yeah. mansions and just chill for a week. Just like a big ass like Again, lodge. if you have yeah. eight people, like the price isn't actually crazy for some mm-hmm. of those places. Again, when you're looking Collingwood, probably still crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna expect each of you guys to put in a thousand dollars. But it depends. Like if if you're talking a week, um again, like like five hundred bucks each. It depends. It, get, it depends on the price. Mm-hmm. But again, eight of us. Like you think if everyone chips, if we, split it, if we split that, like, I'm not expecting it to be like ten grand still, but like, yeah, yeah. if we split something there, like, it'd probably be reasonable still. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's doable. Well, that's what I was. I was talking to Drew about it, thinking about buying a property in Collingwood as a business expense just to rent out, because mm-hmm. he said Bree's boss rented a cottage for ten thousand for a week, and that yeah. that cottage is booked every single week and weekend of the entire year. Mm-hmm. So that's making five hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. One of my uncles does that. It's so crazy. He's got a cottage up there somewhere where it's mm-hmm. like he he's there all summer, like doesn't leave, and then he leaves like as soon as fall hits, and he doesn't come back till spring hits. So he's there half the year, and he's there the half the year that he can go fish. 
Mm-hmm. And then as soon as it, it flips, there's he's got the same two people that rent the place and they've rented it for the last 20 years. See, that's nice. And they come, if you, if you they find come someone ski. that's just like willing to do it every year, yeah, and you don't have to like worry about exactly, they, it's just like an it. old couple that's that a, comes how, and skis every single year. Is yeah. it like a really big place or is it just like a normal um, house? Moderate, yeah, okay. it's, it's like two bedrooms. I was gonna say, if it's like a mansion and they're renting it, every no, year, no, no, it's no. Like, just buy just it. Buy it's, one, like, yeah. it's like two bedrooms, a massive living area, and a kitchen, okay. Um, but I, thought it's was, beautiful. I thought this was the uncle that's like super rich. That no, 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 like, no. Like the mega mansion. No. He's knocking down the cottage we always go to. He's knocking it down, I think, end of the year. And he's building his own place. Yeah. So, yeah, he's mm. a little he's a little wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. Sweet. If you find the right location, like you can make bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what. So I want to talk to my account about that and be like, can we do it? That can or like, property? again, we were talking about with Saga. You can make a ton of money there, mm-hmm. but again, like it depends. You if you can get a beachfront place, it costs so much money, but you could again rent it for thousands. Mm-hmm. But and there's always going to be demand. Yeah. Well, after COVID, but the farther you away you go from the beach, the less and less you can rent. But you're still renting it for tons. Yeah. So especially if we were to, or if I were to get something next to Blue Mountain, you probably the both. best like yeah. skiing area in all of Ontario. It's going to be sold out all the time. Oh yeah. Even in the summer, people go there all Just the time. Just logistically, though, I don't know. Like, is there a company? I'm sure there's got to be companies that can come in and clean everything after they leave yeah. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, for that for area, sure. I'm sure there's sure. like yeah. a there's bunch. not a chance that Annie's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, you got to go help again. <laughs> no, she would yeah. kill me. She can't even clean this place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Camera can't see it, but my bookshelf fell and is just sitting on the floor now. <laughs> it's a disaster. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> I can't do anything. I can't yeah, lift no. that up. So I'm just going to wait for whenever Drew's back and then we're going to screw it into the roof. That's going to fucking do suck. It right this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong, but. I, I wish it happened on stream, kind of. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would be pretty to funny. I see, like, a clip. Um, it was really loud. Like, I was downstairs making my smoothie and we heard it. And it was like me, Annie, and our one roommate. And then we're like, what the fuck was that? I didn't hear too much of it because I had the blender going. Yeah. But they heard the entire thing. Apparently, it was like tumbling for <laughs> 10 seconds. Well, because um, it would have fallen like bit by bit, right? Yeah. And then <laughs> and then like each of the cabinets would have emptied out bit by bit. Yeah. Um, and then my one roommate like sprinted upstairs thinking that his girlfriend had fallen. And then Annie was just like, is it my bookshelf? So she ran to her office. And I just like kind of slowly walked upstairs. I looked up. I was like, yeah, it was mine. Oh, shit. <laughs> it fucked up. <laughs> And then um, the one thing I found funny of it all was just like, was like, do you really think your girlfriend's like that big that if she fell, it would make that much of a noise? <laughs> <laughs> oof. Uh, and he's oof. just like, oh, yeah, I just imagine like the commercials where they like the shower or whatever falls through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Bathtub like yeah. through the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, damn. Yikes. Uh, is the floor but, all good? You're like, there's going to be some scuffs, I'm sure. <laughs> no. Although like the mirror is scared to move it right now. <laughs> Honestly, like. I know I shouldn't have this attitude towards it, but I'm very just like, yeah. Again, nothing got hurt. It's, it's if it, if we can it fix it. If it scratches something, I don't really care. It's just yeah. floor. It's not yeah. going to affect anything. Yeah. I know like other people would probably freak out a lot more, but I'm like, yeah. I think it again, it's just, I'm just happy. Like, if, could you imagine we're just sitting doing the podcast and we just watch that happen? Like, <laughs> That would have been fucking insane. I'm just happy it didn't break any of the mirrors because there's That's three crazy. mirrors underneath it. And if it had broken any of them, that would be I'm, glass I'm shattered everywhere. That, I'm amazed that it didn't. Yeah. I think it's just because of that it's foam pile on top that I have. It's on top of like three. Right? Like, I know people listening can't see it, but it's on top of three mirrors. Yeah. If, if you want to see what it looks like, check my Twitter. I put a yeah, yeah, yeah. up there. Did that plant just land like that? No, I think Annie <laughs> moved some stuff around. It just lands perfectly. In the There's one plant sitting perfect. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what happened, but... Annie comes up and she's like, we got to make this look like it's normal. It's a fucking plant. <laughs> no, that's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely should have screwed into the roof. <laughs> what would you do if it was the Lego? Oh fuck! Yeah, what would you do if that like table just collapsed? Like, how how do you reassemble? I, that? I've gotten to a point now where I've just kind of internally accepted that if any of my Lego were to just collapse, I would just leave it. You wouldn't. I would not bother. No, 
or maybe I would leave it as like a side project, do like an hour a day as just like a relaxation thing while I watch TV. It's not relaxing. But I'd be pissed. Yeah, exactly. The whole <laughs> well, time. back together, I'd be like, it would just be pissed. so <laughs> awful because half of the Lego sets over there oh, are like they come bagged with individual like sections. sections yeah. Yeah. So imagine just having 5,000 Lego pieces all like for the Lego I'm Star just- Destroyer just all gray i'm just picturing in my head that the starter story just taking a fucking nose dive (laughs) off that table and just yeah like it's gone to a point where i'm just accepted it if anything i'd probably just put in a box and be like hey niall do you want this yeah i'm gonna build it yeah Yeah, fuck yeah (laughs) starter story niall takes the whole thing apart and like piles each piece and starts he's gonna find me just like pushing it over Here's another bang, like, and Annie jumps out of bed, and Christian's like, "It's just not." Graham's like just running. <laughs> she fell like she fell. <laughs> oh fuck, man! Yeah, I uh, yeah, I would not bother with it. I need to get another table now if I'm going to get more Lego sets or fix the bookshelf and then put it on there. But I don't know if I trust it anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I trust it with Lego. I was actually going to make the one box that fell the Porsche 911. I was mm-hmm. going to make that Lego set right before the new season started. And then I was going to put it on this bookshelf. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Among Us has been really fun. I'm just going to do that instead. So if I had yeah. built it, it would have just been shattered and yeah. everywhere. I'm really happy that uh, Among Us filled that gap. It was super fun. Yeah, I, I know we don't have as like much uh, as much time now. Mm-hmm. But like, what a fucking game. Like, it's perfect. It's a game we can bounce back into any time. Mm-hmm. It's like Resistance. I'm always down for Among Us. Yeah. Yeah. And like it's done well on Twitch for me. It's done well on YouTube. The first video, um, so like YouTube will show how this video is performing compared to the last 10 Mm -hmm. before that. The first Among Us video is number two out of the last 10. It did better than eight other Siege videos. (laughs) It's at 160,000 views. The most recent one's at like 80,000 now. Mm Mm-hmm. It's doing crazy well. Yeah, we so. uh we take those. Mm-hmm. It's nice too because it's games that uh like Brittany and Annie can actually like join in. And we actually want to play like all of us. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, not, it's hard not to that find. I don't like Siege, but it's but no, for sure, it's hard to find enjoyable. a game. I'm not gonna put Brittany into a Siege game. No, but it's hard to find a game that even just the three people right here will play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you know what I mean, like. I'm well, always, I always have people who are down to play it. Yeah. 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 It's not that hard. Like it'll be a little bit hard earlier in their day, but at night. Filling Lots lobbies, of people. nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. people are always down. Apparently, so they're releasing some details from Among Us 2. 15-person mm-hmm. lobbies. Oh. I thought they just started like developing. Like, Why are they releasing details? They're probably just like making it like, added on to Among Us. So it's probably gotcha. just the same game. With Servers have felt better lately, too. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. You can actually get into a game once someone makes it now. I think they scaled it up a lot yeah. more. Oh, thanks. You got to assume they got like a massive influx in cash. Oh, yeah. Um, like a massive influx. So I was looking one time, and I think there was 22,000 NA servers just for scaled. That's fucked. So imagine <laughs> they're all 10 insane. filled. That's 220,000 people just in NA, five bucks a pop. That's a million dollars right there. That's fucked. Dude, imagine those guys. Like, they released this two years ago, you said? Yeah. And they did okay. And they're, yeah, they did okay. And then suddenly it just blows up like this. Yeah. And I think I already told you guys, um, maybe I told you in your chat now that like the Discord used to have like four. Yeah. Chat yeah, rooms, that was how, yeah. You and said then that. It's like a hundred <laughs> and they're always full. Yeah. But that's hilarious. Like, boom. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. It's a very simple game, but it's just, it's done perfect. And it's taken like everyone by storm. Yeah. Every it's big YouTuber. It's just like doing a it. cooler town of Salem. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Or in a better, more, more interactive. In a least. better deceit yeah like yeah. it's a simpler easier to learn to see i've been seeing a lot of like bigger youtubers how they're playing it and they have such hard settings to the point where i feel like it's almost impossible for crewmates to win yeah like i saw one that was doing 0.25 vision or 0.5 vision for crewmates and i think imposter still have 1.5 yeah and then uh no confirm ejects yeah see i and so no, if huh. it depends who what we're do playing we do with. for vision just normal. normal. What is that though? Like, like one times. One times, one times yeah. yeah. Which I've been huh. thinking about bringing it down to 0. 0.75 just to like yeah. scale it a bit but more. But here's the thing. Like imposters. if we're playing with like, like we were talking about this the other day, that first group we played with, we're playing with them. We kind of keep the settings the way they are because yeah. I don't know, not everyone is the best at the game, putting it nicely. Yeah. But if we're playing with like the core group, like it's like us, like priest, uh, anyone who's really good at the game, yeah. that's when you got to start throwing in those other settings because for us, like with priest, like for example, he's very good at the game. He knows every aspect. Like, what are you? 
you're not lying to him. Yeah. Um, you just have to kill him before you can do it. We anything. just kill him every round. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I felt just, so bad. First <laughs> Two hours of being killed first. That was awful. Dude, the, the best one was he had he'd been complaining about dying first, like Ugh, already what? for about an hour. And then I finally got imposter. And like, I didn't want to kill him. But him and I were in the electrical, like by ourselves. Dude. And I just saw the opportunity. I kill him, but he didn't have his mic muted. And I just hear him like hit Boom. his desk. <laughs> And everyone just immediately basically knew he had died. Anyway. Yeah. I love, I was editing one Among Us video uh, earlier today, and it was the same thing. He died first, and he didn't mute himself. He's like, oh, it's going to be like that now, isn't it? <laughs> just like, <laughs> quiet after that. Oh. Uh, that's the same thing happened to me later in the game. It's like second or last game. And I run to, like, so I go the long way around into electrical, being like, no one's going to suspect me because I can be like, oh, I went to medical and then left. Yeah. So I went all the way around and I walk in and it's just priest staring at me. I'm like, he's the only guy. He's called me out doing this in the past. So then I stand in front of one of the tasks and I realize I'm standing in front of the one in electrical that's literally like just lift the thing. Yeah. And I stood there for like 30 seconds and priest is just like up against the wall staring at me. <laughs> and I'm like, he knows I have to kill him. He knows. <laughs> and I just murdered him. And after the game, he's like, I knew it, man. I was trapped, though. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, I, the game plan was go in there, just pretend you're a friend with him. And I no, remember, couldn't. I had to do that one time when it was me and Jex as the imposter. And, uh, like, you were accusing Jex the entire time. And then I was like... Oh, that was... Oh, I, yeah. I was like, I, I walk into the room, and I'm like, Shane's the only one here. I check the admin table. Everyone's across the map. I'm like... <laughs> I have to like I, I can't yeah. not but like I was like I know if I kill Shane everyone's just gonna be like it's Jax so the best thing was is like so Christian kills me then walks away and then someone's on cameras outside admin so Jax walks in <laughs> they see him on cameras Jax then vents out of the room <laughs> and they blame it on Jax even though Christian had killed me probably two minutes before yeah, that it was so long. but that was the round where Jax for, kills someone in the cafeteria sees me at weapons turns around and gets the body I'm like dude it was him like it, it has to be him and everyone's like no 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 we'll let it go around and like at the very end as it's like the screen's going back to normal I'm like someone protect me I have a hit they're going to kill me, <laughs> no, I, kill didn't me this round. I didn't want to kill him but I was like I have to and He's then the as only soon one. as like you guys find my body and they're like so it has to be Jex right like <laughs> wait wait a second <laughs> oh, I felt yeah. bad. it's the worst when you're a crewmate and like you think you're safe but then there's someone just like following you yeah. being all sketchy and you're like fuck i'm dead no the that's the best feeling is or like an and imposter like you're, you're just like trying to find someone else like <laughs> as hard as you can the best feeling is imposter it's happened to us a bunch of times where we're running and like you'll see me just turn and run the other way yeah i remember one time shane <laughs> killed me and i was like i like went into weapons and he like was just like barely in sight like sitting there and then he like moved out of sight and I was like, oh, like, should I do the task still? <laughs> and I like start doing the task and it was the one where you're like shooting the meteor, meteorites yeah. or whatever, or the asteroids or whatever. And uh, like a second later, he just kills me. Mm -hmm. I was probably on like the 19th one too. <laughs> so frustrating. Yeah. No, the worst, but, the most frustrating one is when you're doing Simon Says and someone murders that's, your ass. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. I remember doing it to you. And you I was were so fucking I mad. was so pissed. I didn't. I unmuted myself like in the <laughs> discussion part. I was like, "Fuck you, whoever killed me," because I was on the fourth one, and it was like, you know, there's five for the uh, last one. I was like four in, so I was about to hit the last one. I just die. I'm like, <laughs> I can't. Fucking I always die it. when I'm doing the med base scan. Oh. Someone always just murders mm. me while I'm the doing only it. room like electrical room. I, I won't go there unless there's like it's a whole so pack sketchy. of three or four. Yeah, because you, you die it's and the person's on every gone. Map. Yeah. Like if you go into yeah. electrical to fix lights, like <laughs> you're in trouble. You, there's a good chance you're going to die. Yeah. At least close to it. Yeah, yeah. This has been a great game to mm -hmm. fill time. I'm, I'm going to play it again on Friday as well. I have like a weird schedule this week. I'm streaming on YouTube on Thursday just to like a, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, I'm going to do Siege and Among Us. Among Us night. late? Yeah. I'm doing Friday. I think I'm off actually. I'm right. in. You're in, you got nothing I better to do. Do I have anything going on? <laughs> now we'll just be waking up. Yeah. That last session, we, you were in the last session we did, right? Uh, probably. I think, was he? I was playing for when, a bit. When we played with like the five girls and then there's yeah, five, yeah. 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 That oh, last but you session, left like halfway through, yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was crazy because there were like some of the biggest imposter comebacks just because of just it shitty was the calls. one round. I forget who I was imposter with. It was one of the girls, but we like double killed like three times. Oh, yeah. the in, double like, the killed twice round. in the first round. And, and someone like DC'd too at the beginning. So oh, there's only nine Annie. people. Yeah. 
Because we, yeah, because uh, yeah, that's Annie's only imposter didn't, win. And I was just like, it doesn't count because someone disconnected. Didn't you make it like it a video? Because like there's the reaction, or it's a clip. Do you re- there's a re- clip of the reaction. I think we killed both of you beside each other. Yeah. Didn't we? yeah. There was a clip of yeah. the reaction of like, of Priest. And it's like, it loads into the lobby and there's like literally, there's four people left. There's five people left and six people dead. And Priest is like, oh, Damn. Damn. <laughs> his reaction was amazing i'm sure i think someone clipped in put in discord but like yeah. it's not in a video we yet. were just running yeah. around as a team like killing anyone we saw like mm-hmm. usually i'd play it safe on the first round but we we just it was didn't clean. See, i tried to do that all. one time i was just like i always play it safe because i try to like get close to someone then they'll vouch for me yeah mm-hmm. but then i was like fuck it i'm just gonna go and just murder someone right away and get out I kill someone. Someone was like waiting outside a cockpit. No one yeah. came out and they walked in like, oh, it was Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah, be great. careful. And then you're just pinning it on them. No, <laughs> it was them. That last game was the last game we played in that session was my best game ever so far. Where it was like it's one V five and I who's with who's playing with us? I convinced one of the guys that like I was good the whole time. And then I like like everyone was you were grouped with um I think toxic the whole time. Yeah. And I'm sitting on admin table and I can't kill Annie because people think it's Annie. And I'm waiting, and as soon as you left him for a second, I murdered your ass, and then Toxic found you, and I'm like, guys, I know Annie's here, and oh yeah, where were you? Yeah, Cross, where were you? And he's like, oh, I'm here. I know you're there, because I'm on the admin table. No idea. And I'm like, so it has to be Toxic. And holy fuck, there's nothing better than when you load back in, it's it's like 3v, or 2v1, Mm -hmm. and you're just like... What are you gonna do? You you you, you cause that like whatever reactor meltdown, and yeah, you just so sit there when you like earn someone's trust and <laughs> yeah. you're the imposter. And you ruin them, but yeah, I, I earned Cross's trust, and uh. and I let Annie run in the room and get the reactor, and I sat there and waited for Cross to run in the room, and then snapped his neck. Mm. But yeah, fuck, it's fun, man. Yeah, and it, I, I really do think it's one of the only games that we've done where like the deception type games where. I could see it going either way for I think it's the most out of all the ones we've played online cuz I I cuz we can kind of build our own here. Yeah. But um it's definitely the most balanced. Yeah. Cuz like Town of Salem and stuff is just like you can just get killed first night mm-hmm. out of random like you have like a shitty roll and I will just... lynch. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it, that was if, my favorite thing to do. If anyone wants a random lynch first night, you know I'm down. <laughs> and then like with uh deceit, like it was fun, but it was definitely a lot of times it just be like, "Oh, we're just see the one where you like yeah. have like the blood packs and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was tough too because deceit was the funniest one because the whole game, I just like sit in a corner and crouch and like wait and like Christian would say run up, kind of look around the corner, then look around the next corner and grab the blood pack and I just pop up behind <laughs> the desk and like, I know it's you, bitch. <laughs> or you get that fucking needle that insta kills and like you're already clean, you got the door open, you just sit there and wait for like an ally that you know is not the bad guy to run kill them and run through the portal i remember one time like so do you know a lot about this seat like you've played i've it? seen people play it i haven't uh, played it myself so like bro. at the end the good people can like leave through the exit and i remember one time shane had the needle and just grabbed terrell <laughs> as he was like going oh, through the no. door he's like in and the then, portal <laughs> and you see the animation like you're walking and all of a sudden your head gets pulled back and you look and you see their head and they have a needle and they just stick you in the neck with yeah. it yeah oh my god and then, <laughs> so i was just screaming it, he's like how why is it like a dead by daylight type escape or like Kind of, yeah, like, like, like the hatch or the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's an exit that has to open. But again, like, me and Terrell were good. And just as he's about to get there, just killed him and then ran through the portal. <laughs> Poor guy. As a just yeah. fuck you type of thing. Yeah. No, very fun game, too. But again, it's it's a, a like, if they could just make more, like, deceit-type games or uh, Among Us-type games. I just like, hope, fuck, I love them so I much. I just wish they would make more maps for Among Us. Or mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll release more if they're making a new one. I think twelve lobby or twelve people lobbies would be great for three imposters. Yeah, yeah I don't know how fifteen is gonna work. Fifteen, what did you do? Three? Actually, well, probably I guess fifteen and three. Fifteen would make sense for three because when it's yeah. ten, yeah, you want twenty percent of the lobby. Yeah, like so yeah, one for every five. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. It'd yeah. be so tough, though. My goodness, they'll probably just save the maps for the second one. Probably, they're, yeah. they're probably gonna At just point, make fucking for sure. bank when they yeah. release the second. Oh, well, for sure, dude. If they even increase the price by like five bucks, it's, it's still worth doubling it. the revenue. Yeah. yeah, like I'll pay for it 100. Yeah. percent But I'm it's, just saying, like, how much money they'll earn from it's that. It's like what we were talking about, Risk of Rain, where they're like, they're gonna update the game, but now it's gonna be DLC. Then we were like, fuck, if they charge like 15 bucks. I've already put like 150 hours into this mm-hmm. game. I'm gonna pay for it, and yeah. it's gonna have like 
a huge amount of content. Yeah, the content's going to be awesome. Like, I'm, I'm going to pay. They can almost charge whatever they want. I'm going to pay for it. The only thing they fucked up, though, is that they had a new map yeah. or a new, like, level. And it's only for Stadia people, like, people who play on Google Stadia. That's stupid. So no one. <laughs> yeah, so, like, <laughs> they just fucked up. So nobody. And everyone's pissed. So oh, seven cool. people have the map. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> I never heard of that actually, but I also I don't care. The Google yeah. Stadia, mm-hmm. it's just like you play it's on like your computer, gaming. yeah, and you just connect oh. to a Google server and they load the game for you. Yeah, it's supposed to be like low latency, like you don't really notice mm-hmm. any sort of lag. But yeah, I don't know. I was who knows? I was dead. born and raised with yeah. the lag, so mm-hmm. I'm one with the lag now. The GTA <laughs> lag. Yeah, yeah. The Rocket League lag. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rocket League's going free to play like any day now. Actually, is that yeah. good or bad? probably good i would say brings more people to the game yeah i think it's good Mm -hmm. i mean like epic is just pumping a bunch of money into it now interesting how long do you think it'll take for epic to run out of money i don't think it can like fortnite's dying down thing is they make it's dying down but they still make a lot of money off of it i'm just because like basically right now they're kind of like google where they have like huge things like well google and youtube but then everything else they make it just bleeds money Mm -hmm. which is basically what they're doing already with all their other games they just all bleed i mean they get all these like huge partnerships with like marvel and stuff Mm -hmm. and like disney yeah they have to pay for that yeah i know it's like like, epic's hemorrhaging money (laughs) i don't know i think there's still a a lot of people playing and buying these skins i guess i guess we never really know what their true numbers are the kids like dude some yeah. of the people i know who like play fortnite in fact like anyone that i know who has played fortnite has like usually bought a lot of skins mm-hmm. i just like, don't, I don't I, get it yeah me either they have some cool ones but like i was never really into fortnite i just don't like the rng factor of like yeah the whole br yeah, that's exactly why I don't like battle royales. It's just like yeah, I don't like, want to die because someone else got I, better. Yeah, if I die and yeah. someone's better than me, sure. But like, if I die because I have a that fucking was... pistol and this guy's got like a sniper rifle, yeah, like, that was my complaint every Sick. single time. <laughs> every time we we because we played like a bunch of different ones. PUBG. PUBG, we played for a while. Every single time, I'm just chilling. I'm looting Dude, up. H1 was like the most fun I've had probably playing BRs but, with you guys. But same thing. So I'm I'm chilling. I'm looting up. We play for like 20, 25 minutes. And then I get sniped across the map and I'm dead. Okay, but like H1 <laughs> like, I enjoyed. That's so fun. We'd be like driving down like a road mm-hmm. and then the car would just like explode. <laughs> <laughs> and like I wouldn't even care. Like at that point I'd just be having a good time. Like yeah, you hit it was a body just such a in the bad car goes game that it was like enjoyable. Like I found a clip like a couple weeks ago. Oh god. And it was like me, Christian, and Travis like driving a car. And like Travis like drives up this hill. And we get like a bunch of air and then <laughs> just hit a tree and explode. <laughs> and we just can't stop laughing. Like we don't even care. Yeah. I just remember but one. The game was so buggy. It was insane. I don't remember. I might have been with you, Shane, but I know you were there now where we were driving down a road and we like hit a little lip and just went soaring and hit a stop sign and it fucking it blew up our up. car. And I was just like, yeah, probably. No. Honestly, that can't happens a lot. I loved H1 back in the day. Uh-huh. Yeah. PUBG was, it just always felt so clunky to me. It was good yeah, for like the first the, little bit. I think there's something new. I think like the gun mechanics and stuff seemed good, but yeah. like the movement and stuff was always so janky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they introduced vaulting and then you'd like vault over an object and, and like your so game strange. would just fucking die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. the only time I think Shane ever had fun with PUBG was when you clutched. I still remember hiding behind the hay bale. It was like yeah, 10 it was people. Nuts. So like three other teams and then shane and, <laughs> and, then, and then keep in mind like to this point like we had played i'd probably put in like 20 30 hours yeah i have like two kills yeah and like i i just remember for like a 10 minute span army crawling through a fucking hay field yeah to get into this city <laughs> and like and like i'm hiding behind a hay bale and like we're kind because of, you can kind of see over objects and we're just watching as everyone's fighting and then like it comes down to literally like I I, sh- I kill one guy and like kill him in the back and it's like a one v one, and we clutched up and I've never like, been so pumped in my life. I think it was like the guy was on top of a one story building, yeah, like kind of just gunning down. But then the zone was like right on Shane at the hay yeah. bale, so the guy had to jump off the roof and then Shane just peeks. Oh, no. <laughs> but so like again, I spend ten minutes crawling across this field just for the zone to literally close over top of the hay bale i'm on and like these guys had like there was like three teams each one in a different house in the city 
and they all and had they to move. And they were fully loaded. And they like, all killed fully. each other. And I'll, I'm just sitting here with like one gun, nothing else. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way to do it. Yeah, it's so I think you had the it's UMP greasy. as well, which was like a really bad gun. <laughs> yeah. But hey, we take those wins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are like the best feelings though when you clutch up like that. In yeah. Siege, when you clutch like a 1v5 or a 1v4. Um, unreal. In Valorant. In Valorant, yeah, same thing. Or when you ace. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah. I've never... Or like that feeling has kind of died down for you, or siege, but only because now I keep playing with like better and better people, so I just get shit on all the time. Like, oh, I never get to do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like the higher rank you get in, like most shooters, like you're just happy like going even. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Most people are good in those lobbies anyway, and I'm happy going. Like, you're not what? gonna get away with like dumb Point shit. Fucking five. <laughs> like when I'm playing like on my Smurf or something on Valorant, I get away with like the dumbest stuff. Mm-hmm. I swear I'm just unlucky though. Like I I know I'm not, but it pisses me off when like so yesterday when I was playing with my five stack, um I'd be like hiding on the other side of the map, not moving at all. Someone walks and just pre fires me and kills me. I'm like, (laughs) what? And then I watch like Patrick, and the same person will just like walk by, not even look at the corner that Patrick's in, and then Patrick just kills all five of them. Like, (laughs) what? I I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Like honestly, there's so many times when I'm playing like valorant or like any type of shooter Mm -hmm. where i'm like they just go complete fucking potato when they're like fighting my teammates Mm -hmm. and then then, like they peek me for a second and i'm just headshot instantly and i'm like they're jiggle peeking with headshots yeah yeah okay yeah yeah i don't get it i don't understand we're unlucky that's all it is i mean one of my friends always says like when i'm playing with like lower ranks i'll like hop on the smurf and he just says like you gotta fight silver with silver sometimes, yeah, <laughs> and honestly. like just just resort to like dumb shit. Every time you're like, it'll work. <laughs> every time you're like, I can't play with these silvers. I'm like, Nile, you are one of them. <laughs> I'm a silver at heart. <laughs> you got yeah. yeah. That's what I said last time. You're right. No, you're oh. silver at heart. Yeah. <laughs> and he's literally like again like I'm like now nah, you, you he's like I can't play with these servers like you're a silver at heart and the heart and then he pulls up his fucking score the dude's like you're 25 and like 11 <laughs> like you're just destroying I'm shitting on them yeah. when I'm playing with those guys Ugh, you're I, too good for silver but like too bad for platinum no I'm diamond I think you, now I think like, you just well, sit I don't know what the ranking is in Valorant, I'm diamond but now but like, one for it's one getting there. to the point where like if I play with like a bunch of diamonds and like we get like immortals in our lobby it like becomes tough Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah that well, makes sense though it also I, that's why i don't but normally I know I'm getting better and that's, yeah. that's that's what i care about <laughs> that's good <laughs> like so normally for siege i only ever play unranked yeah. because like i just don't enjoy the grind mm-hmm. um but like this season i'm excited for that because i'll actually get to experience it for the first time in like three years and i i don't know how i'm actually gonna like feel towards the end because at that point i feel like i'm like just getting shit on or if you go one for one i'm like oh no like cool plays no nothing amazing it's just like i do one thing and then they kill me yeah i feel like going one for one is like realistic though at like a high yeah. rank you're like which it should you be you should be happy with that but like that's why i like on rank because they're like coppers i'm like oh i can shit on these yeah guys. especially for siege like one for one like you it's all about the trades isn't it like, yeah it's all knowledge like if someone gets killed that your team you you got to kill that person like asap because yeah. as soon as they disappear you're pretty much fucked already aren't you yeah because then um, whenever like if they kill someone it's a 5v4 and then, then they can just always trade. just trade yeah, yeah, and yeah they win i was gonna say the more i've watched i've watched a couple of pro like pro league siege things and that's all i see is like it's all about like you just got to trade your whole team out pretty much the nuttiest one i've ever seen was i think it was an apac for siege pro league mm-hmm. it was a 5v5 and within i think it was three seconds it was over it was really just like the commentators couldn't even like say any of the names. It was just like one, 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 one. Everyone traded real quick. And then Jesus. It like, it's over. <laughs> yeah. They, they had to go like slow mo That's what you got to do though. Like, yeah. Like, I'm so pissed off if I like entry and like die doing it and the guy's got like one health left and no one trades it. Mm-hmm. My favorite thing ever is like, literally watching I don't, like. I don't mind dying, but like at least like don't let me die in vain yeah <laughs> the best is watching watching becca play with this guy <laughs> becca, becca's, becca's on the far side aggressive <laughs> person ever <laughs> becca's on the far corner of the map and niles like she's like watching a niles watching b and becca gets like one shot snipe she's, she's like <laughs> now you weren't covering me <laughs> she won't like call people out but she'll be like why weren't you okay, there so like <laughs> we're just not gonna help me <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, that's like, like uh, I, I didn't mean to. kind of reminds sorry. me of rob whenever i play with him oh, in siege luck. i have that clip the other day that got me so pissed off because i was like planting i was like rob cover mm-hmm. yeah 
and then he was just looking like basically the other direction and the guy just walks in kills me and then turns and kills rob and rob's like where'd you come from I'm like rob cover the one fucking door yeah he's like oh i was covering like the little peak hole that they had i'm like they can't kill me from there cover the doorway how is the new season is it good yeah i was gonna say how are you enjoying it like uh, yeah, the servers are garbage right now oh really like every game is laggy too many people probably hmm. uh but the servers were laggy before so i don't know mm-hmm. yeah i saw you um, saying something today you were like lagging or something mm-hmm. as far as bugs go though like they actually did a really good job i thought the season was gonna be delayed by a whole week because mm-hmm. there was the new operator um he can like shoot cameras and if you got on the camera too quickly it crashed the entire server oh and i was like oh the new <laughs> operator <laughs> has a huge crashing bug but then Oof. they fixed that like two days before the season launched mm-hmm. so like they managed to go through and fix all the huge issues that's good though the only ones that are left are like audio ones where if you tab out as the game starts you have like no audio and you have to restart oh. the game so it fucking happens shitty. to me just because discord fucks with my whole pc dude that's weird one thing i never expected to fuck with my pc was discord for among us if i try to do the overlay it crashes everything <laughs> Like I my my Discord cuts out every five seconds. I can't hear any of you guys, and yeah. then it like just freezes my game. Dude, Discord is so fucking buggy for me sometimes. I've like, never used the overlay. Like me either. But I want it's useful general. for Among Us. But like mm-hmm. I wanted to I've just for like so people watching can understand and yeah. for the videos as well. But then I just part- started putting subtitles, and I was like, eh, it's mm-hmm. fine enough with that. Yeah. But, yeah, I've been wanting to play Siege. I haven't played it in like years <laughs> but like, it's fun there's so many operators now that i just have no idea what they do yeah like, you should just get like you they took off like all Drew. the acogs i hear from like everyone from there's just one. defenders mainly <laughs> there's one defender right one defender with acog and it's yeah. a, like a slug shotgun <laughs> what the fuck i remember you talking about that was it today or yesterday you said yeah, that. i was just like yeah there's only one left nice because we were playing and then or i think i said then the five stack as well we were playing and they're like Wait, this person does have ACOG? I'm like, no, literally the only one left is Vigil with his yeah, like, boss. Yeah, last team. time I played Jesus. was probably like a few months ago. And I just remember like no ACOGs being mm-hmm. available for half the pl- people I used to play. A bunch mm-hmm. of them got removed. And now like now they have like 1.5 two times. Mm-hmm. ACOG was 2.5. So. What was, so why? What was the significance of an ACOG? I don't understand. They it's just said that. strong. I don't like, know. Like It's basically like that you can shoot people from super far away. And mm-hmm. they're like, we want to, you know, close the skill gap. So it's not just like you sniping someone randomly. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, like in a fight, if you're like holding a very tight angle and the other person doesn't have an ACOG, you're kind of fucked. Mm-hmm. And if you have the ACOG, like you can see them perfectly. Whereas if you're holding a tight angle with a one time scope, it's a little bit harder. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, they just removed a bunch of them. They don't want ACOGs to be as prevalent, I guess. Interesting. I don't think it's a bad mm-hmm. thing. It's just kind of, I'll miss it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like it's definitely something that could help, uh, I guess, for the higher level lobbies because ACOGs up there are really powerful, but for the low level lobbies, people are just gonna get shit on even more yeah. now. Mm-hmm. That's alright. They're gonna shit. They're gonna get shit on anyway. So <laughs> true. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, speaking of other games that I've been wanting to play recently, we already talked about this, but mm-hmm. now I don't know if you're interested. Age of Empires three. Do you have it? No. Have you ever played I, was it? Say, I don't think you were ever Age of Empires oh. guy. Yeah, I really want to play that soon because I've seen you guys playing like mm-hmm. the second one, the like HD thing. Or oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's such a fun game. We've, I remember seeing it on the Steam Steam sale for like fuck, it was like nine bucks. Yeah, and I bought it. I wanted to play a I, lot. I just... might like have them from like a humble bundle or something. Mm-hmm. Probably. I used to buy those humble bundles and like I don't play like any of those games. I don't think I played like one <laughs> percent well, of the games. I was gonna say there. it's because you yeah. bought the the bundle for one game. Because yeah. that game ended usually. up being cheaper. Yeah, for the most part. That, yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Do you think I'd actually like it? No. Do you like StarCraft? <laughs> I've played StarCraft, but like, Did you I never really it? got into it. No. See, the thing is, is I, think, I think you could... I think it would be fun as a group again. I'm not yeah. going to go sit there and play by myself, though, probably. Yeah, I think, um, like, I'm trying to get, like, a lobby, like, trying to do a 3v3 or something. That way it'll be a little more fun. This guy... So, this guy, we were talking about it the other day. So, how... That was, like, a year ago, right? It was yeah, a long time ago. A year or maybe two years ago. A year ago. or two ago, we're like, fuck, let's just play. We haven't played this in forever. So it was me, Peter, and him. And we're like, well, how do we make the teams? And Christian's like, well, I'm pretty good at the game. It's like, okay, fuck you. Me and Peter <laughs> versus Christian, right? Yeah. This kid just fucking stopped 
stomped us. Oh my gosh. Like I slaughtered. So them. like so like I think we did the whole like hey okay don't attack in like ten minutes. Yeah, there's like a thing. no rush thing, so you yeah. can't actually attack so, each other. So I'm I'm set up. I'm like I got this easy. Got my fucking fort. Got everything ready to go. One wave everything's dead so i have one settler and i'm hiding in behind peter's place and watching as christian just slowly consumes all of peter and i'm like i know you were talking to peter about it like quite humbling quite humbling <laughs> I'd, I'd, pretty, I'd be down to like try one of those out i basically it's fun so from how old was i i must have been like 11 or 10 yeah from the age of like 10 to 14 that was like the only game that i played and i played it almost every day Mm -hmm. non-stop see i did the same but i i just played amongst friends so like we we were good against each other not against the people online because of people like this guy yeah um so well i was like i'm shit compared to some people well, who are okay, so, so good because they got good. like everything down to a macro but you're pretty good for playing when it comes to like he's good for us but like, but like <laughs> no but playing for like a normal like a long game you're also playing the most op civilization yes weren't you the no. french well it's like one of those no, things no, no, time out were you the french yes yeah they're just broken it, the one unit is broken. Yeah. The horses. So basically, there's a unit, <laughs> and in the game, everything has like what it's strong against and what it's weak against. So like yeah. you have like the pikemen who are good against horses, so they're like three times the damage or whatever. And then the horses that I have are just like two times against almost everything except for pikemen, mm -hmm. and they also have area of effect. So if you have like a line of it's already sounding okay. <laughs> if you, if you have like a line of like musketeers or whatever they'll go through in like one hit and four of them will die yeah. Yeah. so the thing is is like the those troops like there's a value you can have like say 100 troops and they count worth what two or three they count worth more like than five normal. yeah but you have like a 200 population cap yeah so mm -hmm. you can't have as many units the thing is is like i'm talking i have like two waves of 50 <laughs> pikemen and peter's got like a wave of musketmen and a wave of cannons and this guy just sends like it took you like a rush or two, yeah. but like two, three rushes and everything's Are they dead. the only ones that do like AOE damage? No, or? there's like two other troops. There's, but, huh. I think the Dutch have one. It's called like the Doppelganger or but whatever. But it's just nowhere near as strong. They're, they're kind of the same. They're like swordsmen and they have the same area of effect type of thing. It's just that uh, they're like the horses are faster. So like you can clear that distance so quickly yeah. and they're not susceptible to cannons, which the it's other ones are. Absolute they're, bullshit. Yeah. Like <laughs> absolute pretty bullshit. Busted, yeah. yeah. It's it's pretty busted, but like I think in terms of competitive, like people who actually play it really well, like I don't think French don't ranks that high. It's just it's really good against huh. newer players because they just slaughter. Yeah, you just yeah. get destroyed. And the French, um, their their like villager people are stronger. So yeah. at the beginning of the game, like they're fucked. They're just they, running. They around. cost like twice as much, but they gather like one point five times as yeah. much. And they beat your ass if you get near them. So when yeah. I, I'm just running my scout through, just getting lit up by some guy fucking picking berries. Like it's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, I have, like the people bread. picking berries and also they <laughs> all pull out muskets. And yeah, some guy's just baking bread and just out the window <laughs> fucking sniping my settler on the way by. Like uh, God man, it's no it, a very fun game. But. Yeah. Definitely something that like we need to limit a bit more. And also, um, what you can do is you can choose which uh, like civilization I guess you want, mm -hmm. and you can level up your city. So you, and the more like you hometown. level up, the better cards you get. And then whenever you like do stuff that gather gathers XP, yeah. you can order in supplies. <laughs> so like I have like a level eighty city ordering in like ten horses as yeah. my card. They have like a level one city ordering in twenty berries. No, no, no. So mine mine is eighty, but mine's all geared towards like production. Uh, so like once I hit certain points, I call in a factory that just generates yeah. gold for you. Then I hit another point, I can call in like a second factory. I call in a fort. I call in defense. I have like the the wall upgrade. The issue is is I call in all these factories. I'm like, oh I'm gonna fucking destroy this kid. And I'm there. Yeah, and then so, I, I basically rush production on horses just to like yeah. get them out there as huh. soon as possible. Do they still have like a competitive scene? Or? Well, it it'd be like just it, the, online competitive. The only people like, still uh, playing are like kids like this guy <laughs> that just won't give it up. Because like it's Star not like Starcraft. Like Starcraft like it still has a scene, but it's like pretty dead now, right? Mm -hmm. I assume so. Um, I think like the pro pro scene, especially for Worlds, is huge still. Huh. But like. The rest of it, like no one really watches. I remember being huge in like Korea and stuff. But Dude, they like, have it on TV in Korea. Yeah, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure for like the World Championships, it's still really big. Mm -hmm. But then that's about it. Yeah, I'm curious. I want to see like how these people play. There's I'm definitely like, not, to, like there's definitely no like pros because they never had a pro league scene. No, but there's people who are just like they know everything. Yeah, and they know mm -hmm. how to like just do everything perfectly. Yeah, and we won't face those people. No. Yeah. 
but yeah, I love the idea, like a two v two or a three v three, something like that. That would be sick. When does it come out? Like the third one? No, it's, it's out. It's out. It's oh, been it out for the, years. The fourth one is coming out. It was supposed to come out like last year in Christmas. I was gonna say last year, never announced, and then it. this year, and actually no, they didn't. Was really the third update. one like recently remastered or no? Was no. that just was it only the second one that got a remaster? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like the yeah. remaster is still like it. The third one still looks better. Like it, it's when did the third one come out? Two thousand and five. Oh, yeah, it's shit. very old. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. So like the Age of Empires four when they announced it three years ago or whatever that was a big surprise because everyone just like oh they killed it off. They but it was out of the it. blue. Yeah. yeah. But. We, I haven't heard anything. Who's since. the developer? Not sure. Um, so, it was Ensemble Studios, which Microsoft then like disbanded. Oh. And then I think now they kind of brought it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was 2005. So I was 10 years old when I got this game, and it was the best Christmas ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was yeah made by Ensemble Studios, and then I think Age of Empires 4, Either they brought back the studio or Microsoft just took it over. No, it's made by Xbox Game Studios and Relic Entertainment. Interesting. Hmm. But yeah, we're really excited for that one. If it ever comes out. Yeah. They did come out with one in like 2012, which was kind of like Clash of Clans or like Farmville type of thing where you mm-hmm. had like a home base and then you'd go do like mini battles and then you'd get like currency or whatever that you'd use to upgrade at home base. and It was all real time. So you'd have to like upgrade for 20 hours. Mm hmm. Uh. It was pretty shit. No one liked it, but yeah, man. Farmville. Yeah, basically Farmville, Age of Empires. Yeah, yeah no, I, yeah, I don't know if it, like, like I'd love to see it come out, but man, not gonna hold my breath. I hope it does really well. When are they gonna make another XCOM? I don't know. That's another game I want to see. Another. Do you ever play that now? No, but I've watched Shane play it like many times. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I played that it looks sick. so it's much. It's such a fun game. I think yeah. I, it's like my most played game on Steam. Yeah, Damn, I think it's mine's up there. It's got to be. I've top seen you five. play the second one at least. Yeah, I don't, and I don't think I've seen you play the first, but like but the second the one we, we spent so I spent so much time. The second in. one looks yeah. sick. Mm-hmm. It's like, like it's basically like the first one, but with more powers and a different campaign, obviously. But the campaign is so fucking mm-hmm. good. Um, I'm actually starting to think. I was thinking about starting it up again. Just I to was play going to at the end of season as well. I was like, okay, I was thinking of all the games I would play before a new for season. For you, though, XCOM would take too long. Yeah, I was like, XCOM and RimWorld were two games. I was like, I'm going to play these on stream, but then Among Us mm-hmm. happened. So. We should do your area again. Oh, God. But okay, so yeah, we they, can't do we can't do max difficulty again. Holy well, they just fuck. released like some new content, I think. Yeah, oh, no, no, me, Pretty Drew, recently. Me, me, Drew, and my sister, like Sarah, played through most of it. The new stuff? Yeah, but oh, we, yeah. we got to just after the wall into hard mode, and Would then there, those like, bosses are fucked. The server that we had, like, is it still around or like? No, it's gone. It gone? It's dead. What server? It's big dead. Like the one that you were hosting. Oh, no, no, it's long gone. Okay. Big dead, yeah. What was killed it like three years ago, at least. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, another fantastic. We could, I could, I would be down game. for that, Nile. I'd definitely play that. Yeah, I would love to. It's just I don't have the time. No, but uh, yeah, Rim for me most. What, what's your most played? My most played game on Rocket League, Steam, on Steam, on Steam Rocket League, probably. Yeah. Okay. What's your or most like, game ever? Overall, probably League. RuneScape or like oh, okay. Battlefront Two. Mm-hmm. Like the OG oh, Battlefront yeah. too. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like <laughs> not, they said Battlefield, the and I was like, "There's no way you played Battlefield." That no, much. no, no, no. Yeah, I'm trying to think like my top three. It's got to be RimWorld has to be number one because I think I'm in like four or five hundred hours there. Yeah, actually, no, technically no. Smite, we have thousands of hours. You guys have played a oh, lot. Oh yeah, of Smite. Smite, I have 855. And that's not including before we brought it to Steam. I'm pretty sure I can actually check how much time we have on that. What was it Smite Guru? Yeah, something like see. that. Library. Because Smite, um. We played a long time before it even came to Steam, and we just downloaded on Steam because it's more convenient. Well, um, eventually they completely phased it over. You had to. I have one thousand four hundred forty-six hours. One thousand four hundred. I, yeah. I have just over two k on Rocket League, and that's just like one account. I was gonna say, and you have what four? <laughs> three? No, I mean, I technically look, three. No, like, I scroll through my fucking Steam friend list, and you're half of it. So I mean, like we. <laughs> Shane is at 1500. And yeah. When we first played 16. on like PS4, like I played a lot of Rocket League there too. Yeah. So I'm going to guess I've got like 2800 yeah. since since we started playing. For me, it's got to be Smite. Then it has to be GTA. Because we played on three different fucking platforms. GTA, we played a lot. Yeah. And we played it on like, we, we played it we all the way it through. three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we start looking at the games like RimWorld's four or 500 hours. XCOM's got to be a couple hundred. 
Binding of Isaac for me is a couple hundred. If we counted the Switch for Binding of Isaac, I would probably be like 500 hours. For sure. Um, oh, those yeah, are the top ones. on the Switch, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking dial. So for XCOM 1 and 2, yeah. if you combine it, I have about 400 hours. Jeez, man. Yeah, no, I... RimWorld's only 100 for me. Town of Salem's at 90. 90 hours? That's jokes. Wow. I just saw I have, I have like 350 in Siege, which is more than I thought. 350 hours? 350. Man, I had the most <laughs> depressing realization today. I actually used to play it. <laughs> Me and Patrick were talking about Siege and like how much time we have in. And then, because he looked at my account, he's like, you're level 403? He's like, holy fuck, you have so much time. And then... I went to a website. I was like, I guarantee Patrick has way more time in this game than me. Mm-hmm. And we went to a website where you can add all of your levels since the levels don't scale properly um, or like linearly. It'll just like add it all with its math mm-hmm. and tell you what your total level would be. And my total level was like 443. And I added all of Patrick's because like eight accounts. And it was like 390. I was like, oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> so wait, 50. what's that account to? That would probably be like a thousand hours difference. But... No, but like, sorry, what's hmm. your, what would your overall be then? Like for my overall playtime, yeah. probably like 4,000, 5,000 yeah. hours. Insane. Um, and then, but then I also realized that for Patrick, he took like 16 months break total <laughs> yeah, from he the just, game. He just disappeared. So like, I'm only a thousand hours ahead and he yeah. took off like a year and a half. That's pretty yeah. sweaty. It's like looking at a <laughs> Ben Smite number. So like we're at 1500, but how long have we been playing this now? Like six, seven years? Probably. Since what, however old my PC is. Yeah. Because that was one of the first things I downloaded. Probably like six or seven So years. six years. Ben is up. He's got to be probably close to us in hours, if not past us. Do you remember what his name is? No. Sad Boy. It's got to be Sad Boy Scandal, but. Probably. But regardless, he. Uh, Everyone's about to add him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> he's already pretty much. He's past us. Yeah. Um, uh. That's nuts. According to this, he only has 850 hours. No. But it's merged okay. accounts. Yeah, like... I doubt it. Like, it came to Steam after, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, at one point, it had its own client, didn't it? Yeah, but this the one website we're using is counting its own client. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, that's just the database of Smite. Maybe, actually. But this, that's 800 hours in the last two years. Whereas we played for six years and have 15. less than double. I'm curious how much... How many hours I have on RuneScape. Can you check for league? Because you were pretty league, into league, league for think a while. You can but like, it should I was be never crazy. like super into league. Like I played it, but like actually now I think of it, like you're a lot. Now I think that your RuneScape number should be nuts. Like I've done some weird grinds on RuneScape where like, <laughs> but like they weren't even enjoyable. But, but we're talking, <laughs> but we're like, and we're not just talking like, a, oh, I'm gonna spend an hour or two. We're talking like months. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> we're talking months. Like I would pick like a skill and be like, "Hey, I want to get like 99." I remember this. sitting in streams just chatting with you, being like, "What? Why are you? <laughs> You're just sitting at the Grand Exchange for like just three days, arrows and like bows and shit, <laughs> doing the same thing for like three, four days." I mean, the fletching and like cooking ones, I did those back to back, 99, and yeah. like that was probably like. I want to say like a month and a half. I think I sat through most but, of the fletch. Like, and I and that was that was doing it pretty pretty fast. I Jeez. Think. Yeah, yeah. That's Jesus. too much for me. But like it it wasn't as enjoyable as just like fighting monsters. Like mm-hmm. now now I'm at a point where I just want to like get to the fun stuff. I'll never forget like the best like stories of RuneScape definitely Peters. Oh yeah. He was like he made it up to like a bill and he's oh, like on top dude. of the fucking world and then like three bets. He's zero dollars addicted to gambling. <laughs> yeah, he lost everything. Not- <laughs> but his, but like his, his run up was like Wolf of Wall Street type shit. He kept, like he kept like sending me like uh, screenshots insane. and shit or like little clips of him winning like stakes. Yeah, and then, uh, and then I remember he finally got his twisted bow. It was like yeah. it's like the best item in the game basically. And then and then he sends me like this video and it's just like. You hear him, you hear his voice in it, and it's almost like he's like choking, <laughs> like because he he died and like he he wagered everything. Yeah, and like you you can tell that he knows he's gonna die like before it actually happens, and he like lets out this like yelp, <laughs> and I'm like, it's it's heartbreaking, <laughs> it's fucking heartbreaking. I'm sure he As still has the video. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. I'm sure he has the video, but, but like it, it was like a crazy ride. Oh, it's insane. Like mm. the fact that he he amassed like I was like I have never even that's fucked. And yeah. then just in a, the span of like 10 minutes, everything. He'll be back. Uh, I, I don't think so. I uh, hope not. He, he said he'd go back when they release Group Iron Man. I think him and like Terrell and like Philip might be down. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. 
but uh the sweatiest stack ever yeah. literally <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but i'm enjoying the ultimate iron man mm -hmm. like it's it's a grind but it's it's fun what's the difference like what do you do so yeah, i don't have access to a bank at all i have to i can only use what's in my inventory hmm. oh okay so you have to like plan out a lot of shit in advance so, so you can never store anything there's like kind of like ways around it certain things you can use to kind of help you mm -hmm. and like save free up space that way but you can't access like any sort of bank hmm. Jeez. yeah so i guess you have to play the game like a completely different way and there's like specific methods for ultimate iron man to train different skills but mm -hmm. but Jeez. it's yeah it's a grind but it's fun is that what you're doing now yeah nice that's, this... that's like the main account i'm playing right now that sounds awful <laughs> <laughs> It's, I don't know, it's kind of like a unique way to play the game. But now, now my like main account, I just don't really feel good about. Like gotcha. when I go back to it, everything seems so easy now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I can just buy whatever the hell I want on the other account and then just That's basically train whatever skills. Mm -hmm. How people felt with WoW when WoW Classic came out because it's such a grind compared to like the other one where it's just the easiest thing in the world and like everything's done for you. Mm -hmm. They're just like, wow, this is a joke. It just feels so much better unlocking the content though that way. Yeah. Because it feels like the game was like supposed to be played that way. Not necessarily like the ultimate way, but mm -hmm. the Iron Man way where like you get everything organically. Mm -hmm. Like you have to create all the resources yourself. You can't Jeez. just like buy them. Because yeah, like yeah, that I, is I can't trade with anyone either. So like I have oh. to do everything myself and I don't have a bank. <laughs> That's actually insane. <laughs> Wait, so Grand Exchange doesn't work? No, I can't use the Grand Exchange. Oh my God. I can't... Uh, I can't buy or sell anything to anyone else. Yeah. Well, that is actually kind of cool. This yeah. is a good way to prompt the questions. Comment. Uh, what's your favorite game? And yeah. How many hours do you have oh, on it? God, we're going to get some Most fucking... played game. We're going to get some nasty numbers. Yeah. Some sweaty numbers. Some sweaty league numbers. I'm, There's going to be a kid with 10K in here. I'm waiting to see someone like Garrett who like, has done nothing but play video games for the last eight years. Uh, eight years? Uh, 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like he, what, dropped out of high school in like grade 12. So probably been, like eight good, years straight. I haven't had a good GVB update. Any, anyone know if he's alive? I played Valorant with him when it like was in beta, mm -hmm. and uh, played. He played like a game or two with us, and then was like, "This game's trash," <laughs> and yeah. then just like left. And I haven't heard from him. The since. last time we played was when I accidentally invited him to golf with friends, and then I'm like, "Fuck, we have a full group." So then I just deleted him as a friend, so I, <laughs> <laughs> oh so God. that so that there would be like an Poor awkward guy. exchange after, because oh, I'm like, I I clicked invite because I was trying to invite the last person. And he joined, and he joined. I'm like. I fucked up, boys. I fucked up and left and then deleted him as a friend so he couldn't be like, oh, I'd die The anyway. worst part was that, like, uh, Shane invited him. He's like, oh, fuck. I accidentally invited Garrett. I'm like, that's fine. And in the pop bottom right, Garrett has launched Golf of Friends. Oh, no. And then he fuck. joins the lobby. He's like, hey, guys. And we all just leave. Anyway, I did kind of feel Poor bad. Probably the worst way to handle it. Garrett's a pretty hype dude, though. He's mm -hmm. like in my hype guy when I played League with him. Yeah. <laughs> Like, he'd do something, he'd go nuts. <laughs> but he's also, like, a very loose cannon. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, you yeah. got to watch out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of things that he said he back in the really day. Have a filter. Yeah, where I was just like, you can't say that. He's like, but other people say it. I'm like, that uh, doesn't make fuck. it right. Yeah. <laughs> From when he was on the, like, Raj Patel podcast. That was probably Dude. one of the that funniest moments. Hilarious. I literally, like, I'm, I'm like, I log on to my computer, like, go to Discord, and it's a message from him being like, you need no you told me i don't know who told you oh someone told me i thought it was you but I, it was probably you were like i, I was probably it. travis i watched it and someone it just sent me a message hilarious. being like man you need to go to the raj but because like we had been i think me and travis had been watching it on and off because it was fucking hilarious yeah um and then i join and it's just him sitting there and like so where would you take someone on the first date and he's like i don't know i've never been anywhere I'm like well you gotta have some idea and he's like well like, I guess I work on a McDonald's, so to McDonald's. <laughs> like, oh, no. I just remember, I think I was, like, in the middle of recording a Siege episode, and I got that message, and I was like, do I just leave a match? <laughs> yeah, you have, like, but those are one of those was, things where you just super have entertaining. to. Yeah, you have to. Like, holy fuck. GGB. I'm sure we can dig up those clips somewhere. You know, he's, like, uh, he's on the show uh, C with Jason Momoa. He's, like, an extra on it. What? Yeah. How? 
Yeah, I know it's so weird, but uh, they filmed like some sort of scene, I guess, here in Ontario. Wait, and Jason Momoa is Aquaman, right? Or yeah, yeah, Thrones, yeah the Aquaman yeah. dude. But they have that show on Apple TV Plus. <laughs> See how? And Garrett and like his brother and like his mom, I think, are all like extras in it. <laughs> what is the show about? <laughs> It's about like these people who literally can't see and like they rely on oh. all their other senses and I I don't know really all the details but Jeez. interesting he, he told me about it and I was like that is the most GVB thing I've ever heard <laughs> <Yeah>. in my <laughs> life <laughs> I'll never forget the way I got scammed yeah when he so, scammed Christian it was one of my favorite do you remember scams. that no I so don't think so he oh. he always talked about how he had a monkey like a pet oh, monkey oh yeah yeah no I yeah. do I do I do remember <laughs> well I'll tell it for the podcast sake but <laughs> always talked about how he had a monkey. <laughs> would never show us any pictures of it and his name is like abu or something right? yeah he called him abu <laughs> and i was just like you don't have a monkey i was like monkeys are illegal actually in i don't Canada. know if he called him i think we all just called him abu i don't know yeah, actually don't, know what I the monkey's no name was anyway yeah. but just kept saying like no i have one i was like prove it to me He's like, webcam doesn't work I'm like just take a photo you have a phone he's like doesn't work he said he didn't have a phone <laughs> or yeah, yeah and that. i don't think he actually did like I'm and then sure i was just like garrett like I'll make a fifty dollar bet with you that you can't make a photo of your monkey within like the next twenty four hours. And I was like, and you need to include like the date and your name or whatever on a piece of paper so I know it's really you. And then Gary's and just then like, be right back. <laughs> be five right minutes, back. he fucking sends me the phone. I'm like, are you fucked? I have to pay you fifty bucks now. Yeah. Did you just give it to him? Did you just get him Steam games or something? I think yeah. I think I just gave him a Steam gift card because like I yeah can't get you the money any Holy other way. Man. Fuck! It was the funniest shit ever. And the monkey just sitting on his shoulder. <laughs> How? how i don't he's know such man. an interesting dude mm-hmm. yeah i he's just full of surprises gvb the man the myth the legend yeah we met a lot of interesting people in our last oh. like eight years yeah sure. again it's funny because like we've never like i can't imagine meeting someone like that in person do you know what i mean <laughs> well you wouldn't because he doesn't go anywhere other than that's the thing he never leaves his place but you know what i mean like what dude, the he's hell gonna be a famous actor soon with Jason Momoa. Jesus, man. I hope so. I'm going to be like looking out for that scene. Because like, I, <laughs> I think it's the next season that's about to come out. Uh-oh. Looking for him? Oh, like it was if... recent? Uh, Yeah, like it was in the, within the last six months probably. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Why would they come to Ontario? To... I don't know. No COVID? I forget where it was, but yeah, it was somewhere here in Ontario. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I didn't even realize that like it is filmed in Hamilton or something. I thought it was oh, like Alora. 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 Yeah, Alora. Yeah. Yeah, I think Alora. Alora is such like, a nice they area a though. a lot of like horror movies there. Yeah. It's, it's such like a, a nice area. Yeah. 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 Well, I know like my two friends are super into horror and like apparently that's just like the horror spot oh, of yeah. Canada. They, they, they but they the thing Alora is like it's like a very like nice like a nice normal subdivisions. Like that's what it is. It's I just guess a nice place. Yeah, like that's what you want for And the, that's perfect for a horror movie. Yeah, you're like, "Oh, it's a nice normal area." Yeah. And then everyone's dead. Yeah. That's a place I wanted to go to because uh, I want to go to. They have a small casino there, but not really. Fucking the COVID. They have good beer. Do they? Oh yeah. They're mil- oh, is that like by the mill, like in that area? It's like downtown Alora. I gotcha. Don't know. Where's no the mills like the mills the off to the side? The mill, yeah. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. the mill I've been to. That's actually nice. They put like a bar overlooking like the water. We had like, like right a by the waterfall. We had like a cousin's wedding nice. there, and yeah. it's fucking we awesome. We saw um fuck, oh okay. You, you'll know who the guy is, but we saw this hockey player last time we were there. I was with Caleb, so you mm-hmm. recognize the dude. And uh, it was the the guy that... Okay, who was it on the Senators that left? It was the Captain Carlson, right? Yeah. So his wife had like a miscarriage or some shit. Yeah. And then the wife of another player was like making fun of them or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we saw that dude with his like bitch of a girlfriend who like was making fun of the i don't remember who it was yeah but yeah that guy was like there like having drinks and shit and caleb was like yo like that's him right there and his like bitch of a wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know that was such a weird situation yeah where he was, was wearing, like he was wearing like a full fucking like tuxedo in like 35 degree heat and ooh, i'm like you're, you're sick <laughs> yeah you're sick slick back hair and oh that's the worst part he looked like mm-hmm. the greasiest dude and his wife just like had so much work done on her face it was crazy uh, <laughs> yeah Ooh. but he, she made fun of the other She's person fucked, for having dude. a mar- miscarriage so, so there was like some there's all this drama on the team about it she pretty much ruined their whole locker room yeah she like, so pretty much she was like chirping them i don't even know how she, or where she said something along the lines of like like that she was like happy that she had a miscarriage it was fucked it was super fucked up yeah but um and then uh yeah like 
then then it just created a divide because well, then he's they the traded captain him. of the team and yeah. he's like fuck like i don't want to stay and be captain of some fucking guy whose wife is making fun of my family and shit yeah yeah because the team really didn't the team. do yeah. much of it, but and they never really to, proved the comments. Where did he go, Vegas? Or oh, he's in play? San Jose, I thought. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, he's with Burns. Sure. That's fucked. <laughs> it's super fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeez. And, uh, yeah, we saw him <laughs> at the middle. <Nice. laughs> uh, was Caleb drunk? Uh, No, I don't think so. Uh, not yet. I feel point. like if he had a few, he might have said something. Said something? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a gutty play. I don't think he would at uh, maybe. I miss seeing Caleb at the get togethers. Mm-hmm. Always yep. a good time. He's another loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he's kinda of settled down now. Oh really? Yeah. Well, because COVID, he has to. Oh true. Yeah. He he doesn't have a choice. I'm sad now with uh like summer coming to an end, COVID's gonna be feel like feeling even worse because we can't like go to the pool, we can't yeah. really do like patios oh, or anything. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. Uh, as long as we just keep doing what we're doing, like settlers here and there, mm-hmm. get togethers here and there. Just gotta get the You're hot back. tub going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like Niall's back in the fold. So like an extra group, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I think we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably go back into hibernation. So <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we just pulled you out. <laughs> Niall, we just found you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think COVID's going to probably get worse before it gets better. So I, I, mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it. it it's going to be so sleep. sad when they take climbing away the second time. It's going to hurt, I think, so much more. Just the progress. My arms aren't going to mind. Yeah. My but, arms are dead today. But you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I'm better than I was before. And I know in my mind, all I can think of is like, it's gone. It's going to be gone. Yeah, I haven't even been back to the gym yet since it reopened. You pay yet? I've been slacking. Uh, I mean, I gave them all my info. I think they <laughs> charged me. <laughs> but yeah, I've, there you I mean, go. I've been away the last like two weekends. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm yeah. happy that we got back into climbing though, because like basically every person I've talked to who was working out before COVID is just like, yeah, I, I haven't bothered going back because they're out shit. of the routine. I'm like, yeah. oh, we go yeah, back. No, I feel yeah, like I, a piece of shit. I <laughs> sucked. I sucked all you guys back into fucking activities. <laughs> yeah, not you yet. You'll get there, but. Well, well, for I me, mean, as soon like I'm gonna check if they've taken the money out of my account. Like, I, I need to go. Yeah, I need there. to go. <laughs> for me, like I wanted to go back to climbing, but I just wanted to wait like a week or two just to make sure mm-hmm. that it wasn't gonna just suddenly yeah. spike up in case. I kind of actually like because when we went back there again, there was nobody, mm-hmm. and now we're getting to nowhere near what it was. But like, I, I'm still comfortable. Even that day that it was crazy, I was still kind of comfortable. Um, I so I I don't know. I don't mind it now. I I think that they're doing as good of a job as they can mm-hmm. um oh. i just want to go before like we get if it does close again waved. right yeah now i had the most demoralizing but also awe-inspiring moment at rock climbing today which shane can attest for was that uh we were like finishing up our session and then a group of kids walks in like 10 of them and i was like oh it's like their day camp or whatever yeah. for rock climbing and then this girl who couldn't have been more than like eight years old goes up and just climbs like a v7 when shane's climbing at like a v5 level yeah and he's like the best out of all of us and she's just like but does like, it like it's now nothing. like Fuck. this chick was doing one where like i can start it i can't and i've watched like every single person who's climbing at like i've been watching do v6s in the gym comes like this one v6 i was trying couldn't get and they like 20 attempts couldn't get it either this chick comes up one try she goes and does a V5. I was pointing, he was on the wall, but I was like watching her. One that again, like I was working out, I'm stuck on the last move. She does it first try, 30 seconds. Oh, hell. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, she's just been climbing her okay, whole so, life. So the thing is, is like a lot of the kids, like, I don't know, we, we always debate this. Do you think it's easier as a kid? Probably. 100%. But like, but like this, this, like this chick was like, this kid was nuts. Like on a on Definitely another like level, the skill and technique are there, but I don't think it's nearly as difficult because like the one that Shane's talking about with the V6 was. Like whenever I was trying to picture it for you, yeah. there's not a whole lot of room. No, like I'm, Shane's I'm tall. Stuck. He's like mm-hmm. he can't really move. She's just moving around like it's nothing. But here's the thing. So, but you watch all her other peers, like all the kids that she was with. No one was even close on that. Yeah. Even the V5s this kid that this kid was doing, no one was close. And she was doing them in seconds. I'm like, like this chick is on another level. Yeah. Every time she landed too, she had this headband. She like flip her fucking hair and toss the headband. I'm like, you. <laughs> She's just a pro. Yeah. No, yeah. she was nuts i was like some of the kids at the tennis club mm-hmm. i'd like have a lesson or something and like i They're, look over and these kids are just fucking like 
that way better prodigies. than me. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. But we were talking, like, could you imagine if she sticks with climbing, for example, what yeah. she could do at, like, our age? Yeah. Like, holy fuck, man. That would be nuts. I, yeah. Yeah. And I definitely think it will get, like, a little bit harder as they grow up because there's definitely, like, the V5 that she blitzed was one where it's crimp. So, like, you have to go really close with your fingers, mm-hmm. which for her would be, like, normal hooks but that's basically still, but that's still difficult like it, that's it is still a lot like, of weight on a kid's fingers but um, definitely like more, much easier for a little kid to like just kind of like spider-man up than for yeah. us to try to so the thing move. about it though is like it's like very stretchy like i have to stretch out on this one and i'm watching her and she's like pretty much fucking walking on these holds i'm like this mm-hmm. is it was incredible like she's just insanely good mm-hmm. again even against her peers like again I, I don't know some kids are like again kids have it easier on some but you watch a lot of them they just can't do it this kid was just so much better there's some that they physically can't because they like they're just not tall but this enough. kid was just like fucking still doing them like swinging on fucking crimps and stuff That's i'm impressive. like yeah i was i was watching for a while i'm like this is a it's weird i'm watching a fucking child for <laughs> and <laughs> you like i should probably like, yeah just I, ignore it. <laughs> yeah it'd be like holy fuck man that's if, <sighs> if you were to continue climbing um, she could be amazing she'd be doing at our age she'd be doing like the v like 15 16 like outdoor climbs i'm curious um, like all the people who are really good right now, like was rock climbing popular enough back then for them to be like that where they were just a kid who was amazing or did they get it into depends. it pretty recently? I'm sure, I'm sure like, I feel like we're in a boom right now for climbing, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I the, feel like it's become much more popular. Yeah. Lately. But there's like the specific, if you think of like the top climbers, like I'm sure they were I'm like sure. That. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. those guys have been doing it. Yeah. Like they had some, lives. they had some sort of link to it be. and then, yeah. But, um, I feel like right now we're in just a boom. Like you, you see lots of kids running around now. So actually I haven't much since COVID. That was the first group of kids I've seen in there. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It's a it's fucking Monday today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But now schools are like all fucking part time, aren't they? I don't know. Me schools either. are really weird right now. So my friend just got, or Connor just got like the position. It's basically like a full-time teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said now they're splitting for high school instead of semesters. It's quad semesters. It's fucked. I don't get it at all. He's like, he basically said for the first semester, because every single, or quad semester, for every normal semester, teachers will have three classes and one prep. Mm -hmm. So for his first quad semester, he has two uh, classes. And then for his second quad semester, he has one class and one prep. So basically, like the first uh, quad semester, he's just going to have to work super hard, and prepare everything. And then the second one, he just does one class and that's it. Yeah. Hmm. So it's like, it's strange. Even talking to the guys, like I, like a couple of the people that work for me are in high school. I'm like, so do you have to go to school? And he's like, no, I'm off for this week. I'm in next week. It's like five on, five off, or four yeah. on, four wow. off. Or and that's another it's thing weird. is that like so some of the classes that he said he was teaching are, um, he has to actually be there for the full hour and a half. Yeah. And then the other class, like on Thursday or whatever, he just does his lecture and then he's done and then like they're supposed to keep working mm-hmm. but he just leaves yeah there's some weird shit too so i'm like how do recesses and breaks work and lunches they have like different times for that too yeah so i remember yeah. connor saying but for him well, for connor it's all online is, like, for, different. for this kid he's oh, like not actually honest. for yeah, lunch he's online. literally like you you eat lunch at your desk yeah. so like they don't ever really leave that desk he's got a desk that's where he is all day i'm like what happened what happens if you go to the washroom He's like, you, the way they do it is like, you get your teacher, you ask your teacher, teacher goes to the hall, looks out. And if, if they put cones out when someone goes to the washroom, so if they see a cone, washroom's full, you can't go right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Well, I saw, I you saw actually XML. today that like some school in Brampton had a bunch of cases. Mm-hmm. And then after that, there was 10,000 students in Brampton who like, applied for online instead Jeez. really and apparently Jesus. like they won't be able to allow like half of them to do it online right now i'm curious they, like they still have a certain amount of teachers who are just doing mm. online obviously i'm curious like what schools or like how some schools decided because connor told me his are all online mm-hmm. for high school so like i don't know i have no idea how it works this kid's in grade nine yeah, so like I don't know, he's doing like Connor's doing grade eleven and twelve, so like maybe oh, it depends yeah. on the grades. Like maybe the older grades are just like just stay home. I just feel like incredibly. So think when you went from grade like eight wherever you were, grade nine you're at a new school, right? Think of like all the people that you met in your life from that time. Do you know what I mean? Like I know you you have friends that you you grew up with, but you met so many more people. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you like that sucks so much. This kid wasn't meeting anyone anyway, but like that sucks. <laughs> that sucks so Poor much. Guy. A good. 
like example of this is Doggo. He oh, he just moved for college. he just yeah. moved for university. He's in his first year. The rules are you can't go into anyone's dorm except for your own. <laughs> You're not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. There's no like common area to hang out in. Um, like for their meal plans, it's basically just like you go to the cafeteria, get your food, and you go home. Mm-hmm. And then in class, he said the classes are like six to ten people, and everyone's six feet apart. And like you can try to talk, but everyone has to wear masks, so it's very it's, hard. I would just stay home at that point. Yeah, yeah. that's I honestly I told him the same thing, but he made a good point. Like he needs a schedule, so like if he took a year off mm-hmm. and then tried to get like back into school, it would just be too yeah. hard for him. And also he had to apply with like a portfolio and stuff and there's no guarantee that he'd be able to go next year i forgot to catch up with ben That's did fair. he go or did he stay in the vineyard he's doing online okay gotcha hmm. gotcha mm-hmm. yeah like at this point i would do it online yeah i feel uh, like kids in grade like 11 and 12 like should get used to mm-hmm. online courses anyway so yeah. chances me- are you're gonna have online courses in college and university yeah too. Par- part of me's like, like fuck could you imagine being back in the day how sick this would have been like, I'm so happy that we're done I, school. I'm the type of no. person that like would enjoy just doing it online. Yeah, so like, so for me, home, I would have been like... happy like if I was that kid going to grade nine, that fucking blows. Mm-hmm. But if I was yeah. in, as you said, grade eleven and twelve, you've already made the friends you're gonna make. Yeah, you're good. Um, it's that so. kid going into grade nine. I'm like, you, you're fucked. You can't. There's no clubs. There's no nothing. Like I met all my friends through like different clubs. There's nothing. I honestly feel the worst for people going into their first year of college and university though Mm -hmm. yeah well same concept like first year grade nine first year college yeah i would have just skipped i would not go i'd wait a whole year Mm -hmm. i would not be able to do that amanda was talking about how she has like one class right now that they have to so she's taking three courses and one of them they're doing like a zoom call on thursday as like uh hey everyone you know come in meet and she's like zoom calls are awkward on a good day yeah (laughs) that's so weird how the fuck do you go in and introduce and get to know your classmates and teachers she's like this is I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, God. They're, they'll probably do the, like, really awkward thing where it's just like, okay, one at a time, like, introduce Your yourself. Name, yeah. Your favorite, but, like, yeah. band. So the good, the good thing is, is they said, like, it's Some optional. Random you shit. don't have to do it. Oh, I would, which yeah, I would skip that. Already. Yeah. And you know what the awesome thing, too, is, is, like, this kills most of university. Like, the worst thing about all that stuff was, like, I fucking hated group work. This oh, yeah. kills off a lot of the group work. And he still had group still work during. Group yeah, work, it's just though. like you have to do it through Zoom calls, and I don't know. I feel like it, it's not going to be the same but. for any. When she was doing the like summer school, one yeah. of her classes had a group project, and they basically just had to email each other about <sighs> it, or like go on the discussion boards oh. and post there, and that was like their only means of contact. That's so shit. And then it was just like Annie was like, "Oh, I finished my part, but this one girl was supposed to like review it, and then that's like how we submit it, and she just didn't do it." sick she's like oh great nice <laughs> yeah. i just use facebook messenger for mm-hmm. all my like school group assignments mm-hmm. well the issue is just like how many people are going to take it seriously when it's online yeah so like if you get that group of people who are like already not taking it seriously Shitheads, in person yeah. but like you can still make it work and if they're just worse online you're just fucked true mm-hmm. that's true yeah yeah i don't know i just uh part of me is like fuck i wish like in grade 11 there's like online classes and then part of me is like, like I, I do think still, fuck, like, that yeah, sucks. Once you're in grade 11, like you should start getting used to online courses. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I was going to say, once you're in grade 11, if you don't have friends by then, <laughs> you might as well just wait till college. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm kidding. But yeah, I don't know. How long have we been going for? It's already nine o'clock. When do we start? I have oh, no idea. That was pretty fast. I usually I set like a timer. I'll check. It's been a while. Oh, but yeah, I fuck. I it's just such a COVID. strange thing. Hour and a half. An hour and a half, nice. I went by real quick. We're cruising today. I don't even know what we fucking talked about. <laughs> video games mainly Lots for like games. an yeah, hour. We actually <laughs> talked about video games for so long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The comment That's question good, was, uh, "What's your favorite game?" How and how, you, how how many like, hours? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's your top played game? I'm actually curious because there's got to be some kid out there that's just like there's gonna be like some sweaty shit. There's gonna be it's gonna be a really weird one. Someone's gonna come in and be like, oh, I have like Turbo Pug <laughs> HD. <laughs> Someone's gonna yeah. we get Hannah in the chat like, hey guys, I have five thousand hours on Build Your Own Horse. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh Neopets, two thousand hours. Neopets. Neopets, what a fucking game. Yeah, there's gonna be some really weird ones, but. Yeah. I'm excited to see what everyone plays. Oh, it's perfect. There'll be probably a few depressing amount of Siege ones. Oh, you gotta assume. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else to add before we end it? Uh, Hopefully Rob and Drew are back next week. 
I, what's it not anything on? about you now. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not to get rid yeah. of you. <laughs> but like, just let myself in. <laughs> yeah. We just got to hope. I'll Rob... just wait for the next COVID scare. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got to hope Rob goes and gets tested. I I'm guess just on call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thank you for coming. Now. Yeah. It's been yeah. great. It's, it's been fun. great having. Maybe you. see you next week if Rob actually has COVID. All right. Hope True. He <laughs> Hope he doesn't. But uh, yeah, if he but doesn't, you also hope he does. You know what's actually so <laughs> shitty though is because if if he gets that test and it's positive, we like, all have are to we go. just lining up? I mean, yeah, we like, have am to. I driving you now? I'll see you the next day. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we would. Fucking get hell. Yeah, if he's positive, I'm getting tested. As much as I, or I'd wait for all of you to get tested. And if you're all positive, then I'll go get tested. Wow. <laughs> this fucking asshole. This oh, guy. So I was. I'll quickly add this um, before we end. I was telling Annie that's like my system. Whenever anyone we know is like at all at risk, I'm like. I'll wait for them to get tested. If yeah. they're positive, then I know I need to get tested. Like, or usually people just get tested to make sure before they go do something. So like Annie got tested before she went to go see her mom. I was like, oh, you're negative. I'm, I'm negative. Yeah. And then my other friend went to go get tested before they went to like go to a wedding or something. I was like, oh, you're negative. I'm negative. <laughs> you're I'm good. fine. Yeah. I would have to, like just for the sake of my mom. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But like, yeah, I'm not. Again, I'm feeling pretty really. confident. We're at day seven since we were exposed to the tool. And, uh, <laughs> I'm still feeling good. He always yeah. wears a mask too. Like, oh, sure for his, ma- yeah, he always wears a mask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He never takes it off. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. He probably got it at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, probably. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Drew was right after all. <laughs> <laughs> Drew was right after Fuck. all. Fuck. <laughs> Can't let him know that. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.